<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Where do I start this video? Okay, salute to, uh, you know, salute the one town business. Salute the town business. Uh, you know, he sent this via text. And, uh, you know, <laughs> Well, wow. it says test results from the same batch lot number that Ryan Garcia's bio nutri carb supplement came from show no signs of osterine. Well, I'll be damned. No signs of osterine. So, man, but you know what? This company, they had to respond. This company had to. Because can you imagine, can you imagine the amount of money that this company could have potentially lost? based on a claim like that like Ryan Garcia don't get it you can't go around and just you know making these accusations you, I mean you can't do it you can't do it and this company they pretty much said nope we finna take it to the batch number we finna take it to the lot number but we're going to clear our supplement because all it takes is for one athlete like Ryan Garcia to say you know what these supplements are tainted they're tainted okay the amount of people who probably won't buy the supplement if it's tainted with PEDS will probably be astronomical. Okay, this company, they they responded to the accusation that Ryan Garcia, you know, said that there was osterine in their product. I mean, that, that guy's just saying that alone, those, those baseless accusations, could mean that this company could lose millions. And this company was like, hell no. Ryan Garcia not about to, you know, uh, mess up our bread. He ain't about to do that. And so they responded accordingly. They responded accordingly. Okay, they responded the way you're supposed to respond. Okay. Now, isn't that funny? Now, his batch, uh, the, the supplement that Ryan Garcia had with him, had Osterine in it. I mean, well, I'll be damned. So his had Osterine, but the same batch and lot number that the company have don't have any Osterine. Wow. Do you guys understand what's going on with this? So what would that mean? That would mean that somehow the Osterine, okay, left the company. I mean, I mean, the supplement left the company, and when it got to Ryan Garcia, somehow some Osterine got put into this into this powder. Because now I'm starting to think, okay, well, did you taint the powder yourself? I'm starting to think that now. I cannot, I, I can't say that, that that's proof, okay? I cannot say that, you know, that's that's undeniable fact that I'm saying. But an undeniable fact that I can tell you is that this boy, Ryan Garcia, had Osterine in his system. And I don't care, you know, what you say. Dennis Espinosa, we cool, that's my boy. But I'm not listening. I, you, you, you're not going to show me a link because I'm not listening to that. This guy had Osterine in his system. End of story. Okay, even if, it, you know, it, let's say if it was accidental. Ryan Garcia is responsible for what he puts in his body. He's responsible for that. Now, don't tell me that you have a fight on the line worth millions. Okay, and you're not going to monitor what goes in your system? You're not going to get it checked? So, 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 wait a minute. You take this new supplement and you don't go get it checked? For anything that's abnormal that shouldn't be in there I mean <laughs> make it make sense okay you have a, a fight you know in the millions of dollars probably you know the eight figures an eight figure income from one fight and you don't thoroughly check your supplements that's stupid Ron Garcia is, is dumb but I don't think he that stupid somehow that Osterine got into his into his supplement batch it got into his how do you think it got there because according to the company, it damn sure didn't come from us. According to that company, it damn sure didn't come from them. Okay, that's what they said. Didn't come from us. We've tested all, you know, we've tested supplements in this batch lot number. We've tested several samples. And none of, none of it had Osterine. There's no Osterine in any of our samples, of our batches. So how the hell did he get the Osterine? See, that's the question we got to answer. 
How did Osterin get inside of his batch of, 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 of Nutribio? How did it happen? See, I, I'm, I'm going to speculate and say, I think Ryan, I think his team, they contaminate. They put it in there. They put it in there so the test would read positive. Okay, so he can run around and say, hey, my substance, my supplements were tainted. He can run around and say that. Okay, Ryan Garcia could get that, 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 that get out of jail free card. And let me just go say that, huh, my supplement was contaminated. I don't know that for a fact. I don't know if Ryan Garcia put it in there. Because what I'm saying is not a fact. But what I do know that's a fact is that boy had Osterine in his damn system. That's a fact. It's irrefutable. It's irrefutable. You can't get around that. You can say and type all, you know, leave all the links. And Dennis Espinosa, that's my boy. But I'm just, I'm not, no, I'm not looking at any links. I'm not, you can drop whatever link you want, but I'm not listening to that because he had Osterine in his system. Okay, now, what, how does that affect me? It don't. But don't lie about it. Just tell the truth. You cheated. You felt like you needed an edge to defeat a Devin Haney, and you got it. And I don't care, oh man, it was a trace amount in his system. Now, I'm going to speculate. Okay, me, in my opinion, I believe that Ryan was masking the Osterine and all the other, you know, whatever PEDs he was using. And I think Ryan was probably 75% effective. Okay, I, I feel like Ryan got it 75% right. I think there was probably other stuff that he had already taken. But that's speculation. That's not a fact. I can assume that and I can think that, but that's not fact. Okay? But I do know factually that Osterine was in the system. You can say a minute amount. Don't matter. It's still in the system. And the question I have to ask you is, should Osterine be in his system? Should a known pet be in his system? Yes or no? Okay, if you're going to say that Ryan's innocent, then you got to answer this question. If you say that Ryan Garcia is innocent of everything, then should, should that be in his system before a fight? All I need you to do is answer the question. Should that be in your system before a fight? I mean, just is what it is. I don't think that that should be in your system the day of a fight or during the fight. or when It shouldn't be in your system, period. That shouldn't be in your system before a fight. It should not be in your system before a big fight. It shouldn't be in your system at all. And that question I'm going to keep asking you guys, should it be in the system? I don't care if it's a pickle grain. I don't care if it's the size of a booger coming out of your damn nose. Should it be in his body? Well, it's a rhetorical question. You know the answer to, to, to that. The answer is no. Okay, it should never be in his body in the first place. Now, I can speculate and say he was masking it and doing all kind of... I can speculate, but see, that's not a fact. I, I, I'll say I think he may have been doing that, but how can I prove it? How am I able to... I can't prove it. But I can damn show point you in a direction. I, I, there's proof that he took Osterine. It's in his bloodstream, okay? Whether you like it or not, whether you want to defend him or not, don't matter. This man ingested Osterine into his system and it showed up on a test. How do you explain this? How are you going to explain this? Okay, you, you got to be, I mean, explain, please explain. Okay, how the Osterine got into the tainted supplement. Into the supplement. How'd it get there? I mean, it just further proves how stupid Ryan Garcia is. It further proves, like, dude, come on. You're pretty much, you're snitching and incriminating, I mean, your damn self is what you're doing. You say you had a tainted supplement. You're in possession of Osterine. So your substance is mixed with Osterine, okay? Now, here's a speculation. Okay, maybe, just maybe, you know, maybe he tried to mask it, you know, with the supplement. Maybe he tried to. Purely speculation, okay? That's not a fact. It's just my speculation. But what I do know is a fact that that Osterine was in his damn system. It was in his system. Whether you want to believe that or not believe it, it doesn't matter. The Osterine was in his system. It is what it is. You can't get around this. And it is his responsibility. 
okay, to know and understand what you're taking. Okay, what are the effects of what you're taking, the side effects, okay? It's up to you to know. Like, you're not going to go and, and let a doctor prescribe you, you know, a batch of medicine. Okay, you're not going to let him do that. And then you don't understand the side effects. Okay, because before you take any medicine from a doctor, okay, you have to know the side effects. Okay, and then once you know the side effects and you take it, knowing these side effects, well, you take, you take it at your own risk. Okay, you take this product at your own risk. That's what it is. Okay, you use it at your own risk. You know the side effects, and so you can't go off suing the doctor. I'm going to tell you, if I'm this company, I will sue Ryan Garcia. I will sue the hell out of them, and I think they are. I think they're going to do it. They're going to need to because you can't go around making these blanket statements. You cannot. You can't keep doing it. Okay, Ryan Garcia is going to say a whole lot. He's going to say a whole lot. And the boy going to keep talking and talking and talking. And he's going to be so financial. They're gonna, people are going to start getting their money out of this boy that this man ain't going to have two pots to piss in. He ain't going to have a damn pot to piss in, man, if he keep this up. And y'all know this boy crazy. Y'all know this damn boy got mental health issues. Y'all know this boy can't tell the truth to save his damn life. Y'all know that. Okay. All this boy been doing is lying. And every time he come up with a new thing that, you know, exonerates him, every single time that he's exonerated, some other evidence come up to show just how much of a liar this dude is. Come on, people. Come on. Enough is enough. OK, the man cheated. OK, he cheated. Live on. Go ahead. Oh, man, coach, you just wanted to be part negative. No, I don't want it to be negative. It is negative. <laughs> how can I want something that's already there? You people can't have it both ways. The boy cheated. This boy cheated. He cheated. <laughs> He's a drug cheat, and it's just what it is. You can't get around this. Ain't no getting around this. Ain't no backtracking. Ain't no coming back from this. Okay? Ryan Garcia, he cheated. <laughs> and he gonna come up with something else. And every single time that his, his name's exonerated, more evidence seemed to come into the fray. Wow. 